All right, everyone, welcome to DevCon. This is Richard Carlton. I'm here with uh, Sam from 360 Works. Sam's one of the owners of the company, and this video is going to be talking about integrating FileMaker with Word documents and other cool things like that. Yeah. Because right? FileMaker really doesn't directly integrate beyond Word some beyond some, some help, basic right? functionality for importing Excel or exporting Excel. No, not not so much. Not even, yeah, so exactly. So a lot of people come to me and say, hey, I, they have a complex contract and they want to feed information into it. And they say, well, we'll build it on a layout. But sometimes a Word document is actually even more sophisticated than what a lot of FileMaker layouts can create. At least our experience is that. Plus, FileMaker contracts can be limited in length, whatnot. So there's a reason sometimes to do a Word document. Yes, some and people need Word documents. Yeah. And generating Word document from FileMaker just isn't really going to work without a lot of copy and pasting. And that can be problematic. So 360 Works has been in the FileMaker add-on business. They are they fill a critical gap in where FileMaker technologies don't fully get completed. And so 360 Works over the years has created a number of important products, and one of which is called Scribe. And that's what we're talking about today, Sam. So what is Scribe? Scribe is a plugin that runs in FileMaker for managing documents and text. And that's kind of vague, but basically it's an API for interacting with documents. And there's a consistent API for whether you're dealing with a Word document or Excel or PDF or PowerPoint. You basically just learn a few functions and you can use that on any document you want to read or write. Okay, let me give an example real quick for everyone of a application we built with Scribe years ago in the early version of Scribe. And it's better now, but let me just give you the practical application. We had an aviation insurance company, and they created uh, policies to cover aircraft and liability and hull and all this sort of stuff. And the legal Word document template for an insurance carrier is complex. And so we built a solution where we would export the Word document out of a container, so it was already in there ready to go, and then we would populate it with data from the FileMaker database specific for that customer. And that's kind of where this is really cool. But you've added things in Scribe that allow us to put images in, additional file formats that you support over the old version of Scribe. I mean, what are the new features? The support that we're adding is for concatenating files together before you could replace text with other text. We've actually made that much more robust in the Word especially because you can now replace across tags, which is a difficult problem. You know, you're searching for plain text, but behind the scenes, a Word document has all this XML and bookmarks and spell checking tags that make it hard to, to locate the text you want to replace. It does a really good job of that. You also can talk to PDFs now, is that correct? We can talk to PDFs. You can add images to PDFs or Word files or Excel files or PowerPoint. Uh, you can do things uh, like um, add text to a PDF file sure, and sure. Uh, appending Word documents together. Wow. and some additional Excel features. Well, they kind of do that in FileMaker. You can kind of create a PDF in FileMaker natively and then append, append the PDFs together. So you're yeah. talking about a and similar it, sort of functionality. A similar functionality and also appending Word documents together, which if you're building a legal document, a lot of times you want to pick and choose contract clauses that you want to put in the document. Yes. And that's actually uh, what I want to demo. I just took about... I don't know, 20 minutes to put together a little sample file yeah, let's that, take a that look does at that. a demo, and then ideally show us how it works, and then if you can show us the basic commands that are involved under yeah. the hood, you know, what document to open, how to insert text, yeah. you know, what, what, I, is it, what is involved with that? Sure, and I mentioned that the API is consistent for all kinds of documents. The workflow generally consists of, you tell Scribe to load a document from a container or a file or a URL or anywhere that it can get the binary data from. So you can reference directly a container as opposed to something on the desktop. Yeah. Okay. Or something online on S3 or something like that. Wow, okay. And then Scribe loads that document into memory, and then you can start changing things about that document or reading values from that document. So if a PDF form, you could read fields. A Word document, you can uh, read tags. But in this case, we're going to load a base Word document. We're going to call substitute to put the date in and to put an image in. And then we're going to append other little Word documents into it that we choose to build up our legal contract. Cool. Well, walk us through that because I'd love right. to see this. Because I, to be honest with people, they want to know about this technology. I get asked about interfacing with Word documents two or three times a week by people via email. All right. Uh, about starting point and 
you know in fact our solution the video that you see folks is the uh, was a starting point solution originally for this insurance carrier and of course it's an older version so the demo is a little out of date so we want to refresh that with a fresh okay. demo and there are some issues with this with this again I just threw it together um, a few things I know about but let me show you the template files this is our base template okay. this is going to be our legal contract there's not much here it's the name of the company in a header there's a title my contract and there's a little date placeholder which is just angle bracket uh, square brackets date so square is square brackets the way we identify targets you can use anything you want okay we're just gonna it just makes it unambiguous that says right. that's a placeholder and then here there's a little piece of text that says logo it's a very small there are no square brackets there okay I'll show you you can just replace anything you want really okay great and then there are some other clauses here so there's an indemnification clause lists there's an offspring forfeiture clause, which basically says this is legal boilerplate. All your children become indentured servants to our organization upon downloading and registering the software. <laughs> and then here's a table, which is just a basic Great. empty word table. Great. And then here's the, the database that I made. So we've got a base template, which is a container. We've got a logo container. We've got a, a place to store the finished contract. Okay. And then there's a list of line items here. There's a total cost. Great. And then there are the which clauses you want to include in the contract. Well, why don't you run it through at full speed, and let's take a look at the output, and then right. we'll walk through it uh, at the debugger or something. All right, sounds do. good. I'll run the script. There's only one script called build word doc. Here we go. And it ran in about a second. Wow. Less than, much less than a second, so actually. So it's threaded in multiple Word documents to create a single Word document, yeah. right? It's, it's populated a table down here at the bottom. Yep. And it's added put artwork, it, put which image is in. a big one. People ask about adding artwork, whether it's charts or whatever. Yeah. Um, images and artwork need to be supported. Yep. And uh, again, very, very fast. And I want to show you how easy it is, because I think you'll, you'll be even more impressed by that. Okay, show us uh, how this actually executes. I guess, I guess we walk right. through it again. Here's our script. It's very short. It's 30 lines long with comments and white space. Wow. So again, I told you the, the first step is to call scribe doc load and we pass in our base template container. That's there. Okay, now if that was a path, we'd have to put some sort of path to the desktop or something like that in there? Yes. And we build that with a variable, right? Yeah. The thing that's missing here is error checking. So you'd want to add that. Okay. This is not necessarily best practice. Uh, here's where we add the logo. Once we've loaded this document into memory, we call scribe doc substitute. We're going to replace the word logo. Again, uh, it's actually case insensitive with our logo container. And that's, again, that could be a URL or something that you want to grab the image from online. Sure. Then we're going to replace the date with the current date. Sure. And this uses the square brackets. Now, here's where we go to all those checked clauses that we yeah. did. Each clause has a, a small Word document that we're going to append to the document. So we go to our related records. And for each one, we call scribe doc append. And we're passing in that snippet into uh, the document. And it's going to just drop it into the Word document, whether okay. it's a clause or a table or an ordered list, a bullet list, and any sort of Word formatting that you have in that small snippet is going to get transferred into the main one. OK, great. Here's where we populate that table. Remember, one of those clauses had a table in it that was empty. Mm -hmm. And we use kind of an Excel-style syntax to, uh, to write these values. So we're calling scribe.writeValue. And we pass in a table syntax. So this is table 2, the second table in the Word document. Exclamation point A1. Okay. Or A2 or A3 or however many rows we have. Right. And so the A1, A2, A3 are going to be the names of the line items. B1, B2, B3 are going to be the costs. Wow. And then once we're done, we write the total costs to that table 2, B3. So plus that's one. like a, like almost like a summary value down there at the bottom or something like that. Yeah, and actually this should be right there. Um, and then we save the file and open it. Here's so, right. So, so is that the save command then right here? Basically, yep. oh, there, save container. Scribe so it literally container. say save command. So we have an open command at the beginning. Yep. Then we modify it. Then we mess with it, and then we save it. Yep. And we have a specification where we save it. And then, uh, and oh, then we export that export that container and, and open it. And so it exports it somewhere and yep. then opens it. And let's run it again just wow, to see. that's cool. Here we go. And there it goes. And it does all that work at high speed. Yeah. 
And so once again, we've actually done practical customer deployments with Scribe. I can vouch for how awesome it is. And so a lot of people are coming by and asking about it. And certainly the capabilities are what we need at this point with the image support and all the tech support. It's, it's easy to create a complex legal document and then insert important information in there and have all the formatting preserved because the formatting is already in the Word document, mm -hmm. right, which is the critical uh, thing. Yeah. You don't have to rebuild it all in FileMaker. I mean, you can, and there's sometimes benefits to building in FileMaker, but there are practical limits. Yeah, um, and again, I just showed you the Word stuff, but again, there's awesome support for Excel documents, PDF, uh, and we're, we're adding more all the time. But Excel, if you want to... Uh, Really, you, could, uh, you can export a very kind of basic, simple Excel from FileMaker, but if you want to customize the headers and add calculations and do all that stuff uh, and have a nice looking template with nice colors and headers and footers and everything, build your template in Excel and then populate it using Scribe yeah. and, uh, and you're good to go. Yeah, no, and I customers really need this. I mean, it's one of those kind of capabilities that almost should be in the FileMaker product itself, but it's not there, so you have a, a company that steps in there and fills the gap like 360 works. So it's really good stuff. Question, what's the pricing on this if we want to get it connected? I think it's it's 695 for unlimited users and 295 for up to 10 users. And then there's a single user license for 95. Wow. So well, great. Very affordable and extremely feature-rich application uh, plugin that you can use in a variety of scenarios. So another mission critical application by 360 Works is Richard Carlton at DevCon once again bringing you all the awesome cool stuff that you need to make awesome cool solutions. I'll see you next week.